More than 80% of the moss spores were still viable after 283 days in space. They were able to repair themselves enough to stay alive. And even more surprising, when they were given the right conditions like water, nutrients, and light, the majority of those spores actually germinated. In other words, they were still capable of starting the next generation, despite being exposed to some insane conditions. The team then used those survival numbers to estimate how long spores like this might last if they stayed in space even longer. Their models suggest that in the right situation, some spores could potentially survive for up to 15 years in outer space. 15 years for a tiny dried plant cell in a place humans can't survive for more than a few seconds. So how is this even possible? Part of the answer is that moss has been training for this kind of thing for a very long time. Mosses are ancient plants. They were among the first to colonize land long before forests and flowers took over. They don't have true roots like most plants do. Instead, many species can dry out almost completely and go into a kind of suspended animation. When water disappears, they shut almost everything down, but when water comes back, they slowly restart. And the spores are especially tough. They're designed to wait sometimes for years until the conditions are right. Their DNA is tightly packed, reducing surface area and minimizing potential damage from the environment. This packing also helps prevent mutations. They're also surrounded by multi-layered cell walls, which shield them from being damaged. And in spore form, moss cells drastically reduce their metabolism by entering a dormant phase. They can basically wait out bad conditions. This built-in pause button for surviving bad conditions on Earth is also pretty handy for surviving the vacuum of space. 